I am analyzing patient Richard Hammond. So double click on a patient name to open the study. And I'll be working from left to right, starting with edit portion. This is where we can input all the demographics, patient name, date of birth, reason for test, referring physician, uh, patient diary symptoms, there are any listed, patient medication, and so on and so forth. Next uh, stage we're going to is view. And this is where we have all the bins. Starting again with the left, where the normal beats are. Usually there is no need to go into normal uh, beats, especially if you have a nice clean signal. However, if there's a lot of artifact, it may be a good idea to go in, uh, maybe the last one or two bins to just check if there's anything uh, in there that shouldn't be. Next, I will be moving to ventricular beats. And we have three bins of uh, VPBs. We're gonna start with uh, bin number one. There's 133 characters in there. Um, I can look at them one at a time, just by clicking down, or I can uh, click on the view, which brings the half screen, or else if I want to use the full screen, I need to click on any of these boxes and use the Z button on your keyboard to bring up as many characters as you like. And there is an uh, option of going with 30 by 20, 20 by 10, 12 by 6, whatever you prefer to work with. Um, I'll be working with uh, 12 by 6. So looking through all these beats here, and they all seem to be normal. So again, to go out of that mode, click on any of the boxes and use the Z button. And I'm gonna change the whole bin into normal beats by right-clicking and pressing and then this changes all the beats to normal. Next, I'm going to go into the bin number two. Again, same idea of using the view um, and then Z button on the screen. Again, all these beats seem to be normal. Now, there's a bit of uh, wandering baseline here, so um, I cannot see anything in uh, these two boxes as well as those two here and the two on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is toggle between the channels by uh, double-clicking on the right mouse click, which takes me to the next channel. And all of them are clear here, so I can go out again using the Z or Z button, right click, change them to normal. And finally, the last bin, again, same idea with the Z button. This page is all artifact, so I'm gonna change the whole page, just clicking on the mark page and artifact, and continue working through. This, this page is the same. There are some normal bits here, I'm not going to uh, bother change them into normals, just artifact the whole page. And here we come across we have actually some ventricular beats here. So what I'm going to do is uh, just stack the top three or two and a half rows. I can do it one at a time by uh, just one single left click, or I can press and hold and drag it all the way down to the point which I want to stop at, and then continue after as well. Again, changing to artifact, and the last two as well. So at this point, I'm finished editing through my ventricular beats. So again, using the Z button, go back to where I was. There are 14 of these left. And next, moving on to supraventricular. And we'll repeat the same action. Z button. There's only one beat here that's an artifact, so I'm going to double check. Just double clicking on it takes me to the full uh, disclosure or page mode. And Obviously, there's nothing there, so I can either artifact it or uh, delete it using the X button. And go back with a double click. This took me to the next bin. And there's again one beat, two beats here that shouldn't be, that don't belong, and as well as this one. So I'm going to change them into artifact. And Z button to go out of there and continue to the next one. Here, there are only two characters, and they're all correct. 11 of those in here. Artifact, artifact. The rest seems to be correct. 
And finally, the last one. And again, these are all correct as well. So the next step is to go into uh, artifact bins, and uh, it's always a good idea to check because sometimes you may be able to find some normal beats here, or even trickier beats, or um, anything else that shouldn't be in this category. So I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. This one only has one character, so I don't need to go into that one. Move on to the next one. Again, right button, right click on your mouse takes you through the bins, through the uh, channels rather, so you can see all of them on the screen, one at a time. And on to the next one. And they all seem to be correct. And the final one. Again, the whole bunch of normal beats, which we're not going to worry about changing into. Normal, this one, there's a super event trickier beat, so I can go into full disclosure again by double clicking on the box and changing this beat to super event trickier. And go back with a double left click. Continue through to the end of the page. Um, and everything is fine here, so we can go out. And at this point, I'm pretty much finished with uh, all the editing. Next, we are going to move into episodes mode. And in the episodes mode, we have two of trickier beats. Actually, this one is a part of a run. So what I'm going to do is change this beat into ventricular. Just click on it and change it to ventricular. So that leaves us with one ventricular isolated beat, two runs of ventricular tachycardia, actually one run of VTAC and one run of accelerated ventricular rhythm. Moving on to super ventricular beats. And the first one I can see here, it's actually it's a couple of the beat before this early, but it's not labeled correctly, so I'm going to change that. And again, just click through just to make sure we haven't missed anything. And everything seems to be fine. One atrial couplet, which is the one we just created. And then scrolling down, uh, there's no need to go into inhibition. Bradycardia, there's 547 episodes of bradycardia. Now what I can see here is uh, inverted P wave, so obviously there's some competing atrial focus happening throughout the test. Um, I'm going to insert the strip, which I will want to show up in my report, so I can just pick the spot which I want to um, insert it at, and then click on select, and label the strip. And click OK. So this seems to be happening throughout the recording. Um, again, I'm going to click on the view so I can bring more characters up on the screen using the Z button. Now, if you're looking at this, sometimes it's easier to change the speed to 5. You can see more of the strip on your page, so it makes it easier to um, look at some of those beats because it shows you the ones before and after. So if there's anything missing, it should you should be able to find it a little easier. Again, if you're not sure of something, you want to look at it at full disclosure, all you need to just double click on the page. And again, uh, inverted P ways, I'm going to insert another strip, which I want to show in my report. And double click again to go back to my mode. And quickly going through that. So everything seems to be fine. Z, button to go out. Irregular rhythm, 33 episodes. Again, click on any of the boxes and use the Z button. Um, there's a super ventricular beats. There's one, two, three, four. Probably just four. So I'm going to change them into super ventricular. So to do that, I'm going to double click, go to full disclosure, and change this one. Move on to the next one. That's just sign as arrhythmia. There's our supraventricular beat. Another one. This one is actually a couplet. Um, the P waves are a little different, so I'm going to um, label those two at the same time. To do that, all you need to just press down the shift button on your keyboard and click on the second beat, which highlights both of them. And again, change them to supraventricular. And that's pretty much it. 
So I can go back to my bin by double clicking on it. I don't see anything else. I'm just gonna actually there is a bit here that's in front of the one that's showing us, so I'm going to go in because this one is early. And go back to where I was, and same idea here. Actually, the, these two are similar story here. This, so this is a ventricular beat, which I'm going to change to ventricular. Move on to the next one, and there's another ventricular hiding here. And I can double click to go back to where I was. And everything else seems to be normal. Z button to go out of there. Noise we don't need to look at. Next is NN. Uh, to look at the longest NN, what I'm going to do is uh, click on the left mouse button, hold and drag it over. And I usually like to look at about 1,000 events or so. If there's any AV blocks or any pauses of any kind, it will show up here. And then scroll down all the way just to see. Everything seems to be fine. So the last, the longest NN will actually be at the bottom of the page. So what we need to do, actually what I'm looking at is another supraventricular beat right here. So I'm just going to double click on this and change this one to supraventricular. So to get to the actual bottom of the page, what we need to do is double click on the last box and then drag this all the way down. So this take, takes us to the longest NN. This is obviously not correct, so I'm going to go backwards, and this is our longest NN. Again, label. And OK. And then double click Z button to go out of there, and we're going to check for the shortest one NN. Same idea coming from the, the other side. Hold the left mouse button down and drag it over. Again. Z button to look at it. I'm going to change the speed to 10 because it's not very clear right now because the rate is being uh, is a little higher. There's a supraventricular beat here which I'm going to change from the full page mode. And maybe another one here. Let's just sign his arrhythmia. Let's actually, this is our shortest NN. So I'm going to go back, double clicking on the beat here, and label this. and go back to where I was and click through the rest of those just to see if nothing is missed. And these all seem to be fine. So again, Z button to go out. And at this point, we're pretty much finished with our editing. Three ventricular beats, two runs of VTAC, 51 superventricular beats, two atrial couplets. If there are any dire symptoms which you would want to correlate with the ECG, you could do this from the page mode. You can change the speed um, or the time interval, rather, for two minutes, five minutes, and you can just pick a time which is indicated and see what's going on in the ECG. Um, next, we're going to go into strips, and this is where we want to choose the strips uh, which will show in the report. And the three ventricular beats, no strips or marks, so I'm going to mark one or two because I usually like to show a couple. All you need to just click on the strip and press the spacebar on your keyboard, which highlights the strip, and this strip will show into your port. And maybe another one here. Moving on to ventricular tachycardia, one round is showing. I want to show both of them. Same thing, just spacebar. A couple of super ventricular beats. Let me go page down, pick another one from somewhere else. Two atrial couplets, these are already selected for us. Inhibition, we don't need any strips on that. Clear. Bradycaria, 551 episodes. I want to keep one. Minimum heart rate, again, is correct. Maximum heart rate is correct as well. And the selected strips, which is the ones we uh, labeled ourselves, shortest and then competing atrial focus strip, longest and then and another strip of competing internal focus. So at this point, we are done with this study. Next step is to go into summary, and this is where we can fill in the information um, in the interpretation field. 
This tells you how long the patient was monitored for, the minimum maximum heart rates, which we selected. And uh, then you can proceed into your uh, interpretation and you can type your own thing or you can use any of the um, phrases from the menu on the slide. So let's say normal ECG and then so on and so forth. And at this point, the study is done. All you need to just save the report.